morning, I'm Carl, this is Studio in Car. This is a 2003 Aston Martin DB7 V12 Vantage and isn't it gorgeous? Real straightforward, simple system in this, nicely chosen componentry. Let's take a look at it. So first things first, heading up the system is the Blaupunk Bremen. It's dark in here, but you can see it just there. We've got that lit up in the OEM colours so it comes on nice and orange. That's providing an RCA output to our amplifier. And our amplifier is running active Morel hybrid integras up front. So that's the tweeter there. We've had to do the, the most delicate sort of nibble away underneath the dashboard for that uh, just to allow it some back space to fit but they look um, they look gorgeous in there and of course in the doors a uh, wee mid base location now look at that angle if you're a, a car audio fan or a pro watching this you'll understand that that is a that's quite a chaotic angle for a mid base so we've had to sort of switch over to tuning quite hard on this one to pull them up above the dash and that works and then what you won't see but I'll put an image on the on the screen in a minute behind there behind that rear quarter is a subwoofer baffle with an Audison AP8 in there which is on a baffle sealed to the metal on the door card so it's bolted to the original bolted fixing points for the rear speakers and then it's separated from the cabin to the boot space it plays through to the boot space it works really well it's quite efficient quite low it's nice yeah it's running in a effectively a, a, an IAB fashion so in terms of kit inside the car um, inside the cabin area that is it other than We've got a bit of a USB socket in the centre here for if he doesn't want to use the USB on the face of the radio. It can sometimes be, a lot of people request um, USB on the face of the radio and it can sometimes be quite a, a bit of a pain because you end up with cables running across the car and stuff. So we like to give that option if there's, if there's two inputs on the radio, one rear and one front, or even two rear, we try and put them in two different locations to hit the target the best we can, you know. And then in the boot compartment, underneath the OEM storage area, we have our amplifier down here. Let me see if I can just light that up for you. There we go. So, I can lift that up just to show you. That is the Audison F8.9 bit tucked away in a cubby hole, inside a cubby hole. So, you've still got all your load space, you've still got everything that you would normally have. So, that amp in this setup is running the front tweeters, front mid bass, and the subwoofer. The subwoofer is bridged, it's getting about 250 watts to the sub. Where it's IP, it's nice and efficient, doesn't need tons of power. Um, we've dialed in the front mid bases, dialed in the front tweeters to give us a nice sort of centre rim edge, nice and high. So, um, yeah, that's it. You know, when I when I originally spec this system, I'd spec different speakers, I'd spec different pieces of kit. But sometimes you need to sometimes you need to allow the system to flow in its own way. You know, sometimes it can be much more simple and effective than what you've spec'd it. So we're on a completely different set of front speakers. I'd spec two sets of hybrid integras front and rear, but they were a coax because my research on the car suggested they were coaxial in their own enclosures. God knows where that came from because as soon as we started to um, you know, take the car apart, we ended up with a component front set, a coaxial rear set, things like that. No subwoofer, so there was no base in the car. Um, this is the the base level stereo as well so there's no upgrade system in this it hasn't got the, the center console subwoofer application that the upgraded oem version would have um so we've had to create that sort of 
subwoofer element. I mean, we, we wouldn't have used that original subbox anyway. It's far too small, far too sort of restrictive. So yeah, sometimes the more simple the system, the better it is on the car and the better it is on the ear in the end. So we've got a head unit, two-way front end, sub base, and a single amp, and plenty of sort of DSP and tuning control in a retro car. We've also fitted a Smart Track S5 to this, so he's got a nice advanced track system on there now. And yeah, that, that tops this Aston Martin out. Very gentlemanly system, very gentlemanly car. I love the spec of this thing, it's really nice. Classy old British motor. Anyway, I'm Carl, it's a studio in car. That's the DB7 V12 Vantage. Take it easy.